Hey guys, today we're gonna play around with the items I received in my January Box of Charm base box. You guys already know that was the PR box, so if you haven't seen that already, the unboxing is live. Make sure you go check it out now. But I'm really excited, so let's get into it. I just washed my face, I let it air dry, so I'm gonna move on and apply the toner. This is the Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. My skin is not like dry. You know what, let's pull these little hairs, little pelitos. I'm having a really good hair day, by the way. Pretty stoked about that. I'm gonna use these little mini baby clips to keep the hair out of the way. Has been cooperating, baby, I'm so excited. This is the Ginseng Toner. Let's, oh, I never primed it before, okay. See, like that's all you need because it's like a mist. So I just two, 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 and then that was it. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna move in with my. Uh, I'm gonna skip on the moisturizer. We're gonna go in with a primer. Oh, with a primer. And the primer I'm gonna use is the Grown Alchemist Anti Pollution Primer. I really, really like this primer. So we are going. That's odd. I'm gonna show you guys something. Hold on. Ooh. I've used this primer maybe two to three times. Do you see the cap? What the heck is that? That is freaking gross. It's like crunchies. Is it because the primer maybe? It's hard. Okay, if you guys got this primer in the, like recently or something, can you guys please go check yours and see whether or not you have those crunchies? I'm gonna use them anyway, but I know for a fact, no one has used this primer other than me and it's been on this vanity the entire time. So it's kind of odd in my opinion that it has crunchies that's kind of gross but the thing is this is a really really good i hope it's not going bad because it's a really good primer it feels cooling on the skin when you apply it it feels like water not even a moisturizer it just feels like water and it feels really good you know what i like about these toners by Elemis? that your skin looks radiant like if i wanted to i could just leave the house just like this nothing else on top i could have actually skipped on the primer because the primer just like really like primes your skin and creates a shield like a barrier between like the pollution and all the debris in the air and that kind of thing but being realistic like my skin looks it gives you this pretty pretty glow and the apricot one i am obsessed with so now that i have this one it's awesome because i'm gonna keep one here and then one in my bathroom i don't know it's like such a minimal product right to like apply yet my skin loves it at least that's my feedback with the apricot one. So I know it's gonna love the ginseng one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation. I'm gonna do my absolute cover foundation by Ofar Cosmetics. Is it the 7157.15? Y'all know that is my shade and it's absolutely on my balls. Okay. I'm applying concealer quickly. This is the perfect cover concealer by Ofar Cosmetics. I did a full on video on all 14 shades, swatched them, and gave you guys like a real first impressions while I applied just concealer on the skin. My concealer, perfect concealer shade with just a little bit of a lighter hue under the eyes for brightening is medium golden. Now medium, uh, medium honey is amazing to really brighten the under eye. And then I'll go in with this one. This one is deep cocoa. I haven't actually memorized names because these just launched earlier this week they're like phenomenal they really really are if you guys want full-on details like full-on details on this concealer you need to go check out that video i'm gonna link it up here now we're gonna prep our lid so that we can play around with the sweet escape palette so i'm gonna use my gerard cosmetics clean canvas in fair i have all four but i feel like fair is my favorite of course you guys see it here all the freaking time like it really is my favorite there's just no way around it i feel like you can work with any tones when you're using fair medium is slightly darker than this it still works the sale's done there's no more ten dollar sale for the clean canvases unless they wanted to give people a chance over at gerard cosmetics to snag you know the their deal for a little longer, I don't know if they're gonna end up extending it or not, but I don't think so. And so the sale ended yesterday. You would have been able to get all four for just $40, whereas right now they go for like 22 bucks a piece. If you haven't purchased a clean canvas, you're interested, but it's not the time right now, it's perfectly fine. Just know that if you only are able to get one, I'm gonna advise get the fair. The first shade out of the palette that I'm gonna dip into is going to be window seat it's a really pretty like purpley pinky kind of taupey it's kind of it's, it's it's an in-between type of shade i'm gonna take her and i'm just gonna tap out here 
bring forward. I'm tapping because I want the majority of the product to lay here. If you're familiar with Wonder Beauty, then you guys already know their formulas are going to be where it's at. Like all I've done is tap and it's pretty much blended itself out. We have to blend a little more just to get a really pretty gradient, but pretty much a piece of cake. Let's do the other side of the I was gonna say the other side of the eyeball. It's not another side of the eyeball, it's just the other eyeball. With a smaller crease brush, I'm going to dip into In the Clouds, which is like the dusty lavender that's in here. I'm gonna apply that directly on to the crease area here. Same process, we're gonna tap, 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 get the majority of the product on. And it always helps if you have a mirror that's a little lower, so you're looking down, and as you're looking down, it exposes your entire lid, which is what I have going on. I have a mirror right here where I can see straight ahead, and it'll allow me to get a visual as to what you guys are gonna see. But for the sake of me being able to see how I'm building it, how it's blending, and get a really, really good visual of the gradients, having a mirror right down here helps. Now we were pretty obsessed with a few of the metallic shades on here. This is more of a duochrome. I'm gonna go into Sweet Dreams. This is the one that I topped onto that blue and you guys fell in love with the look. I'm gonna drag some of this onto the eye. I want to make sure I'm applying an even amount. So I'm gonna go very lightly and I'm gonna tap it on and then kind of drag just a smidge. But I'm gonna keep applying. This is one of those products that you can keep applying until it builds as much, like as deep as you want. I'm gonna bring a little bit down this way and then drag up. That's gonna give my eye that kind of like wide and awake effect. This shade is a beautiful shade for you to go ahead and apply a little bit of it wet. So you can grab your brush, spray some setting spray on it, and kind of go into the uh, eyeshadow very, very lightly, and then apply it onto your lid. I am going to forewarn you that if you are of a particular age, or if your lids have wrinkles in them already, like mine are starting to get slightly wrinkly and kind of funny looking, this may not look flattering on your eyes. It might look a little bit like um, wrinkly and it may actually emphasize the wrinkles versus making it look smooth. So if you try it and you realize, oh my God, it's looking kind of choppy, then you already know wet shivery shades are just not gonna work. It's gonna be one of those things where you, like, you try it and see if you like it and see if it works out. For me, it always looks a little choppy and like crinkly and so I avoid that. I'm gonna go back in with the very fine brush that I used before. I'm gonna go back into the clouds and I'm gonna tap some of that again because I wanna get a really nice gradient between the shimmer shade and this purple. And then because we can, we're gonna dip into out of the office. That is the deepest shade in the palette. I am going to go in with a very, very, very fine brush. This is the M507 by Morphe. And with the very tip, I'm going to go along my crease line. I want to emphasize the crease a little bit. Now I'm going to grab an Ofra brush. This is their Professional Makeup 21. I'm going to dip right back into window seat. Very gently, just the tip of the brush. Tap out, and then I'm gonna go along that edge and diffuse a little bit of that deeper shade into the crease and then blow it out a little bit. You guys already know the drill. Grab a very small brush and dip into a shade that you can kind of smoke out the lower portion of your eyes. In this case, I'm gonna go into Into the Woods because it just makes sense with the eye look. I'm gonna drag some of this down here. We might as well just wrap it around the bottom. We're done with the eyeshadow. We can move on to the eyeliner. Miha, I have thoughts on this freaking eyeliner. I applied it. You guys saw the swatches, right? This is supposed to hold 18 hour wear. I didn't really believe it. I go ahead, I bathe cam, I do the dishes. I actually did the dishes. I didn't use a dishwasher. I get in the shower and I'm so freaking tired that I was like, whatevs, and I go to sleep, right? I put my little like neck cap, went to sleep. Wake up in the morning and I see that I still have the freaking swatches perfect perfect swatches on the back of my hand. I get up, I get tied together, take her to school, come back, and I was like, let me grab a makeup wipe because this is petty, like, it's it's just petty at this point. I use a makeup wipe, it won't come off. In yesterday's video, I showed you guys how the freaking liner would not come off. I ended up having to use some of the Micellar Magic Water by Tarte in order to remove it. That did the trick, it removed like this. So this is most definitely 18 hour where you need a heavy duty something to get it off your eyeballs. I don't know, I feel like you're gonna be able to most definitely get in the pool if you wanted to get in the pool with makeup. People do it, don't judge them. 
whatever floats their boat, but I, and I've done it too, so whatever. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be one of those products that are most definitely going to last a really long time. Okay, we got uh, number one, let's do the other one. The felt tip stayed nice and filled with product the entire time, so it didn't dry up by the time that I got to the second eye. That's a thumbs up, that's a beautiful thing. It is nice and opaque and it didn't like skid around on, like it didn't skip. It just went straight on, so it applied really, really well. Here's the kicker though. Um, You see how it looks super shiny? That's that's mainly because, and pretty much only because, I um I have that duochrome on. But that right there is an easy fix. I'm gonna grab a black liner and kinda go over those areas where they look super shimmery, because you guys know I don't like how shimmery it looks. I like more of a matte. And you don't really need a lot, but it's a great trick to follow if you don't like shimmery liner like me. Oh, I know this is not gonna match, but let's apply. Oh, oh, what happened? Um, maybe it's still chunky because it was chunky before. That felt weird going on. See how it like, see how chunky it is on my lips? Why do I have Jessica Rabbit vibes? This is not gonna stay. This is just not. I just wanna see what it's gonna feel like on my lips in the meantime while I finish the eyeball. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to apply my mascara and latches and then we'll be right back. Do you guys remember? I think in yesterday's video it was when, when, when I said um, red lipstick on your teeth ain't cute and then I said never or ever, ever. It's on my teeth. It's on my teeth. So this is gonna come off. It feels Hydrating, but I, I can't I can't deal with something that's gonna be this slippery all over the lip knowing that it's gonna move around. I wish there was a different color, maybe like a peach would have been cute. Let's try the very last item and it is by Lovecraft Beauty. It is their qu quasar glue. No, it's their gloss, but it says quasar goo. I ended up getting it in this like coppery shade. I feel like we're gonna add this onto the cheek as I did in the try-on, because the eyes are so pretty on their own, I don't wanna ruin the eyes. I'm gonna kinda like blend it out with my finger. You can totally blend it out with a sponge, but a sponge is not gonna allow you to really get a good like visual of the areas where you're applying, so that's something to keep in mind. It adds a little hue of something, so instead of a highlighter, I'm applying the gloss. I think it works along with the eyes, because it's, it's pretty subtle, it's not this crazy, crazy, in your face type of product. I am gonna advise you do either or. Like I don't think you should do a highlighter and this. It might end up being way too much. It definitely added a little extra something without being too messy. I am going to continue to try these products, which is why I'm like consolidating going forward my unboxings and try-ons, like first impressions. It gives you more time throughout the month to actually feature these items more than once and put certain products like this one, which is pretty intriguing, to play in action in different ways and see how they work. You guys saw that red lippy was not my vibe. At least the red with the formula is just not for me. So I ended up coming up with my own combo. I ended up using the Basic Beauty Lip Liner in Basic, and then I used the Super Stay Vinyl Ink by Maybelline in the shade Koi. It's one of those that you have to kind of like do one of these and it clicks until like it mixes and it's supposed to be long wear. I don't love this formula, however, it is pretty long wear. All right, you guys, and here is the completed look. You guys, I am in love with this look. I feel like this palette did the most. It was so effortless. The products are beautiful. So all in all, it's a 10 in my opinion. This variation was beautiful. And yeah, girl, don't worry. We will continue to feature this palette here and there now that I'll have more tutorial filming time for you guys. Also, um, I almost forgot. I need to announce the giveaway winner. So let's get into it. Okay, so I opened up a random generator here on the computer. And so basically what it's gonna do is it's going to submit the Excel form with all the entry forms and it's just gonna pick a number. So we're gonna do this now. Okay, so it stopped. Th this is wild because it usually gets really high numbers like 1,012, 200 and something. No, no, no. It stopped at number 17. And the winner of this giveaway, her name is Krista Fair. She is from... Moshim, 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 Moshim. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it. Moshim, Tennessee. Congratulations, Krista. Make sure you check your email response to that. You have 48 hours to claim your prize or I'm gonna be forced to choose somebody else. Please don't make me choose anybody else. I know that everyone wants to win, but I always love 
when people get like their first chance at winning something because it's very hard to win in general. Trust me, I know. And guys, don't worry, I have another giveaway that I'm already preparing. It's pretty freaking awesome. So stay tuned because later on this month, I will be announcing a giveaway. Make sure you guys are subscribed because my giveaways are only for my subscribers. Make sure you have commented down below letting me know what you think about the look and the products in general. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell and the like button because the like button tells YouTube that you're enjoying my content and so they'll recommend my channel more which will help me grow my channel. All right my cheeky boom boobs I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.